welcome back to the channel so today we're going to take a look of, at uh, Hydra 3.0 uh, not too long ago I made a video with Hydra 2.0 um, and you know I felt the, the basis for that video if you guys haven't watched it I'll post a link up above uh, I thought it was the middle of the pack I thought it was um, it was good it just doesn't ex didn't uh, really stand out from the other other um, rinse washes on the market and uh, I reached out to Aaron uh, last night uh, and I was asking him about Hydra because uh, I basically thought this was uh, a polymer based rinse -less wash and so I wanted to kind of bring that up because somebody did ask me if it is a polymer based rinse -less wash or uh, a surfactant based rinse -less wash because when you shake it uh, you know it does suds up so there is some surfactants in here so I thought it was more like a hybrid style rinse -less wash so again I reached out to, to Aaron and I asked them is this a, considered a hybrid or is it considered a well, hybrid meaning surfactant and polymer or is it a polymer or just a straight surfactant in here and he said definitely more surfactant driven than anything else so I think that answers that question we got on the topic of, of polymers um, and he brought up a good point he goes when polymers are mentioned uh, people start thinking protection or optical enhancers or basically gloss enhancers uh, this does not have any of that because um, I wanted to kind of just see if this falls in the realm of like an optimum no rinse type of rinse wash and again it doesn't so again uh, more surfactant based than anything else so um, the next question is what's the difference between, between um, version 2 and version 3 uh, version 3 has a new surfactant in it to help it clean better uh, in comparison to version 2 again I thought this cleaned pretty well but we're going to take a look and see how well this cleans and see if it does a better job than the previous version and if it really stands out now in the uh, big picture of rinseless washes here um, and I want to thank Aaron because he reached out to me and uh, during our conversation as well saying that the video that I put up helped them evolve version 2 to version 3 so again I appreciate that it took, he took the he didn't take it like I was um, saying it was a bad product uh, he took that as constructive criticism to make the product even better so again, let me just shake this up I'm gonna use the 256 to 1 dilution ratio for this and uh, actually I actually want to take a whiff on it and see if they did change the scent. I'm actually going to have to pop this uh, open here. So that smells the same scent. It actually smells really good in the bottle. So I'm going to just go ahead and fill this up to 45 milliliters because I have three gallons of water in my bucket and I get some from my pump sprayer. Great color. Rinse this wash here. So let me just kind of close this up. So let's just go mix this up. Uh, I'm actually washing in 80 degree weather. It is about, what time is it? It is 11.45 in the day, almost middle of the day, direct heat. So we're gonna take a look at, at uh, how it does in direct heat. It's not super hot, again, it's 80 degrees. I do have a breeze coming in. So let's take a look at this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour this Into my bucket put that aside in there and we're gonna fill fill up this pump sprayer and I lost the straw in here put this guy back in here okay set that aside for now I'm just gonna fill this up Now, for demonstration purposes, I have a plush towel. I don't think the car's super dirty. It's not super dirty. I'm going to soak that towel. And I'm going to use the McKee's Gold Sponge today. I like using that for demonstration purposes. So you can see the car just got normal dirt and stuff on here. You know what? We'll start from the top. Uh, they are resurfacing the street here, out in the front. So they're going to re-asphalt the street uh, tomorrow. Look at that bird, bird bomb right there. And look at that, just melting that poop. You know what? Let's work this whole section 
normally in direct sunlight this door is actually in the shade normally in direct sunlight you want to do panel by panel but let's test it out and see what happens let's see if it dries on us I'm gonna take the towel I couldn't find that gray one that I've been using lately to showcase We'll just do this. Okay so. okay, so it definitely does feel like it has better lubricity than the than the first version. Kind of just clean that channel there. You can just see it just kind of take that bird dropping bam right off so that's a heck of a cleaning ability on that thing I miss this piece so it's starting to dry on me because again when you're working in direct sun you really do want to work panel by panel so we're kind of pushing this to the limit working out really well okay so you can see I picked up some dirt right there and I'm pretty much at the point where I've exhausted every single side here I'm just raw dogging it like Eddie would say just to kind of get some dirt on there. So let me just go ahead and grab my drying towel. Actually, I probably only need this. I'm gonna dry the glass first because it's kind of hot. I was gonna use a drying aid, but I forgot it in the garage and I'm not gonna go get it because I'm in the middle of making this video. Okay, wipes off really good. Yeah, so indirect heat. Um, I don't need that towel. Indirect heat or sun, you're gonna wanna work panel by panel because it is gonna dry on you. Um, but it's drying is, again, polymers. So it's gonna come right off. easy enough actually did really good the only thing I didn't get was this little caked on thing oh yeah it was loose okay so that takes care of that put that there for now okay so let's take a look at the sponge So I know people are going to ask, is it, is it as slick as something like Hero or DIY? Um, under the towel, I think it's still a little behind in that aspect, but from a cleaning perspective, at least on the paint, it did a good job. Yeah, see, under the sponge, they all feel the same. As I was mentioning in another video, Feels good, man. Feels good, really good on on the surface. And so it's not super dirty. And my sponge came out really clean.
Okay, so just by using it, this version is a lot better than the previous version. Let's just go ahead and take our towel and dunk it in here and see how it cleans. Um, picked up some crud along the way. Let's see if I can get some of this. Does anything on any side have more dirt than the other? Uh, we'll use this side. Let's do one more solid here. We'll grab some more dirt from the glass. He was parking outside, so we got these little red things from the tree. So that's going to get in my solution. But this is for showcasing performance anyway. I'm going to empty this out of the way for now. Okay, so you can see the dirt in here. It's just lying up right there. We just dunk it and agitate it. I'm not even agitating it against the grit guard. You can see it does a heck of a job cleaning up. I take it and rub it against the grit guard. Too pluff, too too plush. Okay, where's that side? Okay, so this is the side that was in there, and you can see it's pretty darn clean. So this version cleans way better than the previous version, and that's what we're looking for when it. If you're looking for just a straight up cleaner this is the type of rinse and wash that you're going to want so it does clean really well good lubricity under the towel uh, i still think that could be improved upon but it wouldn't stop me from you just using this because i don't use the towel to to do rinseless washing i'm using uh, a sponge so for me under the sponge it feels perfectly fine i have no problems with it with a sponge but if you're using a, a a towel you know it may not be as slick as some other ones but again i, I don't use towels for restless washing what you see me doing here with a sponge is what i'm using basically 100 percent of the time use a towel for demonstration purposes to grab dirt and see how well it cleans on the surface All right, takes care of that. Okay, so you guys saw me work a few panels here and there. Basically the half the roof, the entire side here, and then the entire front clip of the Impala here. And it did a good job 
at cleaning. I'm blinding myself off the reflection there. So did a good job cleaning the surface. Uh, under the sponge, the, the bristle just feels like, like I said, it feels like any other rinseless wash. Plenty of lubricity under the sponge. On the towel, you may feel it drag a little bit, um, but the thing is, if you're using super plush towels like this, um, you're gonna get some drag anyway because of the plushness of the towel. Um, but man, the cleaning power has been increased by quite a bit. So it is right up there. It competes with the big guys in terms of cleaning uh, just by cleaning the, the mitt there. Um, so overall, I think they did, a, you know, I think Phoenix EOD did a great job with uh, 3.0 for, for Hydra. Uh, much improved with over version two. I, I recommend to try this out and just see how well it cleans. Definitely, so I do top three. I think I'm gonna have to increase that list to top five. This for at least for as of what, August 2024, definitely top five. Where it places, uh, I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that um, towards the end of the year of where I rank my rinseless washes, but uh, Phoenix EOD brought one with, with 3.0 here in terms of cleaning. Again, the bristling of the sponge feels just like any other rinseless wash, which is a good thing. Um, under a towel, depending on the plushness of your towel, it may feel like it's not as slick, but it, it feels like comparable to me to the others. Uh, could you always improve on, on um, lubricity under a towel? Absolutely. Uh, is it a must for me? No, because I use a sponge a majority of the time. But those of you who use towels, um, you know, you're going to have to kind of judge, play around with that. Uh, for me, I think the lubricity is, is just fine with this. So overall, real nice um, update to Hydra rinseless wash here. I think uh, Aaron did a great job uh, tweaking this and, and that new surfactant that's in here um, does a heck of a job. And you can see it dries streak free. Uh, my glass is streak free. The glass inside is dirty, but the glass is streak free on here. It didn't damage the coating whatsoever. The surface feels really clean. Uh, no, you know, dried off really good here. Uh, again, not, not an issue using it whatsoever. Yeah, it feels really good on the, on the surface here. So overall, cleans really well. Uh, I enjoyed version three thus far. I'm gonna go ahead and knock the rest out here. Um, yeah. If you guys have any comments or questions on this, go ahead and post down below. You know, are you interested in trying 3.0? Um, just let me know. Post your thoughts down there if you've used uh, 3.0 yet. I think they, they come out with, a, with a, as Ed likes to say, a banger with this one. So again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. So take care, everyone. Hey everyone, welcome back here. I want to come on camera and share some final thoughts, final, final thoughts on Hydra V3 as I run around the um, Impala to kind of clean that up. For those of you asking, the Grand Prix still here. It's right behind me. Uh, it is going to take a step back for now. I am getting the, I just took the front seat out. I'm going to get that reupholstered and the foam is deteriorating over time. I've had the car since 1999 right off the, the lot. Uh, so again, it's what, 25 years old at this point. So I'm going to get that redone and then it's going to go and get uh, repaint because the, the previous repaint uh, has clear coat failure just over time. It just developed clear coat failure. Again, they use water-based paints here. So I didn't expect it was going to fail that soon. Hopefully the next repaint lasts a little longer than that. So we're going to go through the whole gamut of that one. And when we get it back or when I get it back, uh, polishing and ceramic coating, and we'll go from there again, that's going to be still a couple months out uh, when I get to that. So let's get back to Hydra V3. Overall V3 is a, a great upgrade over uh, V2. Uh, the cleaning power has been definitely increased. You guys saw that by taking that microfiber towel, dunking it into the, into the bucket and just getting it to kind of just clean and it just does a lot better job than um, than the previous version. Again, the previous version was good, just didn't stand out. This one does stand out because it does clean very well, um, which is why I was stating that I'm probably going to change my list of rinseless washing from top three to probably to top five because this is definitely a top five product. One thing I did do as I went around the other side of the vehicle is I actually went and got a lower GSM plush microfiber towel, like a 350 GSM uh, Eagle towel and the lubricity is there. So I, I was right when I said that that microfiber towel that I did have was either like a 500 or 600 GSM towel. And so it felt like it was dragging a little bit on the paint. Uh, but once I went and got the 350 GSM, it actually did a heck of a lot better. And you can actually feel it. Again, I still think um, Hero and DIY Detail still have better lubricity than, than this. But again, this is right up there with them. Um, and in terms of cleaning power, it's right up there. 
Uh, one other thing I did notice is when I came back with my drying towel, uh, I didn't have to come back with a secondary towel to kind of wipe anything off the surface because last time I used DIY detail on the Equinox, which is um, here, I had to come back with a secondary towel to um, clean off any streaks that were left on the surface of the glass. Again, they're just polymer streaks on the on the paint on the surface there because uh, my towel was a little damp. I think again, temperatures are going to environment is going to uh, dictate how the DIY, the rinse is going to react. So DIY probably react a little differently in that condition versus like today's condition. So I just kind of got to mention that. Not a bad thing, I just one thing I noticed. Again, it could just be en environmentally, in, in environment inflicted uh, from that day. So overall, Hydro V3, definitely a much better product. Just cleans really well and I've enjoyed using it. Uh, I think you guys should definitely try this out. It for me again it does stand out it does um, clean very well so definitely check it out um, dilution standard dilution 256 to 1 again normal um, so again just take a look at it if you guys have any comments or questions go ahead and post down below i'll just post a link down down below and um, i think eileen has a discount code i'll, I'll reach out to her and then um, i'll just post a discount code down there if i find it if she does have one just use hers and support her uh, again thanks for watching catch the next one take care everyone